mamas ago. Chanel. And I already had my foundation on. I was, I was getting ready. I was expecting it. This is what's so fun about ordering from Chanel is the packaging. Uh, I didn't get the box this time, which is a shame. But this is really lovely. And there's a little uh, camellia on this. So this is the Chanel Holiday Collection. And I think this is an extra that I ordered or I asked for. They give you extras usually two samples and I got a lip color and the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter so this is what they look like in their packages they usually don't show because you know how interesting is that not terribly hi baby girl but here we go we're gonna open them up and put them on the face and see what the deal is so here you know, comes in its little sleeper and it has a little gold Chanel emblem. Oh, okay. So this is what she looks like and we are definitely going to do some swatches currently. So it looks like there are no mats in here. The birds are singing to you today. So we have a kind of a dirty gold, a kind of a pewter color, a black, a champagne and a silver all really handy for the holidays and will give you a variety of looks depending on really pretty depending if you were going for silver I do own some silver things that I wear during the holiday so those are those three colors and this pewter is lovely that looks for me well, it's something I could wear every day this is lovely and this black color doesn't have too much sheen to it so that's really really lovely as well and here they are on the hand they're very smooth and now for the final two shades this kind of champagne and the silver which is super pretty it looks like there might be a little bit of sheerness to the silver color maybe even to this as well but not as much yeah, there's a little bit sparkle, I think, in the silver. Look at that, so pretty. So maybe the best application for that wouldn't be all over the lid, but a little twinkle right through here. All right, so that is very exciting. For the highlighter, its own little case and a little brush. I actually happen to like their brushes when they put them in the blushes from time to time and they put them in highlighters from time to time. And we have two shades again, a silver, and this color here appears to have, depending as I turn it, you might be able to see a little bit of rosiness to it. So it definitely leans cool. And we'll do a swatch of each and then a swatch together. Very pretty. Yeah. So it's these two right here, single swatches, and then we'll just mixed together. I just made it unpretty. And we'll do that right here. So there they are mixed together, which I think I much prefer, but there is variety here. So that's nice. And then I got a lip color. Now, you know, Chanel for me is a little confusing. I don't know if this is a lip color that is just for this collection, but it appears to be based on the packaging and it was right next to everything else so this does look different I love the black and gold love it and it's that thing where you go like that and it pops out and yeah this is looking like it's going to be a happy color for me it's right there super super neutral so let's do our eyes now, on the day today, I generally go for my squirrel brushes for a couple of reasons. A lot of shadows these days are super, super pigmented. And when you use a brush like this, this is a rougher, these are goat, they pick up more. I find if I'm using a squirrel, I'll pick up a little bit less, but I also will be spending less time blending because I picked up so much product. But with this one, I'm not sure squirrel is the way to go. And that's why, for me, it's, it's nice to have goat brushes and squirrel brushes. And I really don't know what to do first here. I think I am going to go in with this shade, which is kind of a, a gold. 
So it's not picking up a terrible amount. I'm glad that I went with a goat. I think a squirrel just might not be the way you want to go with this. And super sheer, super pretty this way, honestly. If you want an undone look or a very subdued look, you just go on with a little of this in low lighting and candlelight. It'll just give you a little bit of something. So I think the look is actually going to be kind of sheer overall. We'll see. And that is the Max 15 that I used. I'm just going to call them out because I just did a video on them. Again, I'm doing a fluffy. This is the Max 15 and it fits very nicely and it's picking up nicely too. So this color I think is a bit darker and give myself a little something. I think this, yes. Yeah. I was just gonna do the outer, but it's such a pretty color. I would call it a pewter color, but I think people have different ideas of pewter versus bronze. To me, bronze has yellow in it. it it's a warmer color, where this one is cooler. Isn't that? Pretty, look at that. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now I do wonder if you don't like this coolness. I don't think it's really, really, really cool. But if you don't, maybe you would want to do a little bit of this on top of it. So I'm going to take this flat brush, although uh, this is the O2 Mini. I think, yeah. You can really kind of see it with the flat brush. I think if I had gone in with the fluffy, it would have been the kind of patina of those two colors together. So you'd still have that darkness, but with a little bit of warmth to it. Not that it's not pretty. It's super pretty this way. But different, different effects. I'm going to take the tip of this and go in with the black. So obviously we're doing an evening look. I might even do a little under my eye. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna just run this by my lash line. Can you believe those birds? This is what it used to sound like in spring. I'm honestly using the black because it's here so you can see how it performs. But normally, with these kind of shadows, with this particular palette, I would be more inclined not to do any lining like this. I think it can be more fun for me, more suitable to my face. Whatever's left, I haven't done my concealer yet, so I'm just going to do a little, and if it ends up being too much, I can take it off later on. Actually, on this side, I'm not going to take it all the way so the top and the bottom meets. I'll leave it a little open because that will help to open up smaller eyes. And if I had a Q-tip right here, which I do not, I would kind of take this away. And that will just help keep everything a little open. Okay, I like it. I'm taking another brush now that that's dirty, and I'm just gonna pick up this silver color because I think it might be very, very pretty there. Again, I haven't done concealer, so uh, probably shouldn't, but yes. It's super pretty there, super pretty. Wow. Wow, okay, I'm liking it. I feel like the only thing that's missing for me is a matte color to kind of bring everything up. I, I need that definition because of my hoodedness. You know what would be great? It's one of these merits. I'm this, I'm, I've never tried this before, using the merit for doing this right up here when I have a powder on. It could be a disaster. This is the color Studio, and I use this so often. In fact, I'm just gonna dip it in here, but I, I just wanted to show you something. This rubber brush, 38, 36, when this first came out, 
He said it was eyeshadow. I said, well, I don't get that at all. And I used it for concealer. I used it for contour. But with the merits, it just picks up so well and just does the whole lid. So again, this color, maybe not. This is just an experiment. But I think it's giving me what I need. I'm going on very, very lightly. I don't know, to me, this just helps get rid of the hood so I don't look like two little eyeballs and a big, big hood. Although I don't think this color is 100%. But if you're not hooded, you're not gonna need this. And you can just put together a really pretty kind of, well, you can do a, a big evening look or you can do a bit of a diaphanous, romantic look. And you know what I should have tried first? I should have tried that pewter color, just blending it out and seeing what that looks like. Ah, oh, you know, sometimes, sometimes we get the best ideas when it's too late. I'm just gonna blend out that pewter a little bit and bring it up. Yeah, really nice. So now there's not a hard line where the pewter went on. So I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to do concealer. I'm going to do my brows and put on some mascara and powder my face, and then we'll go on with the highlighter and the lip. Just make sure I don't have any extra powder on. Makes a difference, right? I'm just wearing a really, really, really shiny sunscreen today, so that takes care of that. I wish I had the perfect blush, you guys. The blush that I'm thinking of, I've been thinking of for a year, when Chanel released those really dark, great lipsticks last November, there was one color I said to you guys, I need a blush in this color. It's a dark color that doesn't have blue to it, so it's not like the berry colors that we see everybody do. So for the moment, I think I'm gonna go without, especially because I do have peakiness in my cheeks anyway, but as I was putting on my mascara, which I already told you about, right? The Western Atelier, which helps to give me a really fluffy, big, big lashes, it's not a natural look. I was looking in the mirror thinking, I am loving this silver in here, even though normally I would put on concealer first to get rid of my darkness before I put in something, but it is so, so pretty, and I love this eye. It's totally understated, and yet super, I think, elegant. All right, so let's go on with the highlighter. I'm gonna mix both colors together and I'm gonna do this brush. I recently did what the Tom Ford. I love that new highlighter, but I was flummoxed. I could not remember what I used to use because it's been such a long time since I've used powder highlighters. And I do have a couple of Chanel's where I just use the brushes that come with them. I'm not gonna take it this way. I think I'm gonna take it this way. So the shape is like a roof, right? I'm just trying to get this on my skin. We'll see how that works. It's subtle, the way I've applied it. I see it on the brush, so it is there. I'm going with the second, and there. Now I can really see it. Look at that. Now I do like to kind of go back and forth with powders because I think it polishes the pearls. Otherwise, it doesn't have that skin-like effect. I can definitely see it on this side because this is where my door is open. That's really, really pretty. Now the time for, just because I have it right here, is more pinky and it is also really really beautiful let's just do comparison swatches because we're here this is the tom ford and then i'm just going to do a swatch of this one so that's the dark color the top color and the chanel's right here this is the tom ford and i'm going to mix the both of them together and this is mixed both together so the white one's right here that's really, they're not the same. The Tom Ford is so, so much pink. Good, I have an excuse to keep both. <laughs> and now let's go on with this lip color. I'm not sure that I've ever tried this formula before. 
it's really very, very comfortable. It doesn't have a heaviness to it. It reminds me of the Gucci. So the Gucci has something like this that's quite thin. And that one has a heaviness to it that I don't really love all that much. But super, super pretty look. I am loving the eyes. And this highlighter, you see, look at that. I think I saw some sparkles in it before I buffed it. I think buffing is 100% key. You can't see it so much on this side. But, okay. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful collection. And I'm really glad that I got it and was able to show it for you. I think for me, if somebody said you can only keep one thing, who would be so mean? <laughs> who would be so mean to say that? It would be the eyeshadow because I don't have... I have something on my nose. I don't have anything dog hair everywhere like this. I really, really don't. The Tom Ford, again, that's in the other room, so I can't pull it out, but it's not similar to this, and I love this. And you know, if you've been here for a while, you know I never put anything under my eye because I'm convinced it makes my eyes look smaller, and it just doesn't suit me. But the way I applied this, I didn't even blend it out again. I just put it on in front of you guys. And, you know, I was thinking that I would have to go in with something like this and just do a little bit blend. But I didn't. And I think it's so great. Again, blush for me, probably not necessary because it's an evening look. I'd want to be more subtle. And I don't have the perfect color, but my cheeks are working out fine. And the highlight is lovely. And the lip is really lovely. I, I'll be keeping all of them, but if someone were to say one thing only, this would be it, because I think this is unique to anything that I own. And yes, as I said, if you're like me and you need to give yourself a hood, I think if I had just blended out this pewter color, I would have been fine. But I have to say this merit color worked very, very well for me as well. So that is it, you guys. That is the Chanel Holiday 2023 on my face. Super easy to use. I do like them with a words goat brush. I don't think that these would pick up very well with a softer brush with a squirrel brush. And I do think you can easily get just a beautiful wash, like this first color that I went on. Beautiful wash a wash of that, a wash of this, a wash of this. These are the wash colors, I think. Although that silver, you can really, it has a pow to it. And these are the denser colors. And honestly, you could, I could, if I wanted a darker eye, although this offers me plenty of darkness, you could put this on your lid because it's not really, really opaque. And oftentimes I find that black mattes not only are super opaque, but they're also really powdery and they tend to drop. And that's no fun. And this doesn't have that powdery nature. So that's it, you guys. I'm really super glad that I gave it a try and I hope it was helpful and I hope you come back again. I just love hearing the birds. And until we meet again, be smart and safe and I'm wishing you good health.